Hi, I'm Duncan from 6.5 and in this video I'm going to show you how to enable basic Android management so that you can activate the Google Play Store on your Chromebook and then be able to install Google Play applications or Android applications onto your Chromebook and open up a whole new world of useful stuff. Now this video requires you to have a Google Workspace subscription. It doesn't matter if you are on basic uh, or above, uh, this is available to all. And it also requires you obviously to have a Chromebook. And if you're not familiar with a Chromebook, um, you can Google that or see one of our other videos to learn about those devices. Essentially, it's a, window, it's a computer or a laptop that only runs the Google Chrome browser on it, which is an entire operating system. And so you don't need to worry about things like Windows and licensing and antivirus and lots of other bits and pieces like that. They boot up really fast and anything that's available on the web or in Google Play uh, is available to you on those devices. So let's look at how we set this up. So the first thing is in Google Workspace, you'll need to be able to uh, log in to your Google admin as a super administrator and be able to manage your subscriptions. Now, even if you are direct billed to Google or you are billed via a partner, you can uh, and you have to do this yourself. Your partner or Google cannot do this for you. Um, so just follow me through and we'll get that part set up and then we'll move on to the, the detail. So the first thing is under billing and subscriptions, you'll see your general edition. And if you're under a reseller, it will tell you who that is. You'll need to click on add and upgrade a subscription if you don't see this already there. So uh, come in categories down to devices and then you can see Android management here. So again, if you don't see this, if you see this already, you don't need to do this. If you do, um, then we'll just click on get started. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, so we'll then click on checkout place the order and then just uh, see that there's a success item there so we can close that out. All right, perfect. So now we've got Android uh, management and this is available for all licenses. You don't have to do or see anything else. All right, from there, we've now got to enable uh, the Google Play Store for the account as a whole. So we're gonna go to apps, Google Workspace and then additional Google services. And in here, let's just close that one up. We're gonna scroll down until we see managed Google Play. So it's M for managed, there it is. And you've gotta make sure this one is on for everyone. So you can uh, turn it off or you can on. Um, if you are in a larger organization with multiple organizational units, you can turn this on and off um, for groups of users or for an organizational user, uh, unit like a department or a country or however it might be. Um, but that uh, you'll need to make sure is on. That's the first step. All right, now the second thing, if we want to enable this on a Chromebook so that you can have Android apps on a Chromebook, you're gonna to come to Devices, Chrome, Apps and Extensions, and then click on Users and Browsers. Okay, so now we're here, we've gotta do two things. The first of all is we've, we have to decide if we're gonna be permissive uh, or restrictive about the Play Store, and we also have to allow apps to install on the Play Store. So the first thing is, let's go into additional settings, and you'll see there's now a new option. This wasn't there before you added that subscription, and we need to change this to allow apps in the Google Play Store. Uh, again, you can do this based on organizational units, and uh, you've obviously got to make sure that you've got uh, the planning in place for your Google Chromebooks and you, your devices that are going to have this. Uh, so obviously make sure that you're not using um, some tiny Google Chromebooks off the shelf that have no memory, no space. It'll uh, actually degrade your users' uh, experience. So we'll change that to allow and then click on save up at the top here. All right, perfect. And then the second thing we do is we need to decide if we're going to whitelist apps that they can install or whether we're going to just allow in them to install anything at all. So in here, you can change this to allow all apps. Uh, and that means that if you find your users using apps that you don't want them to, you can then block them and stop them and prevent them from being installed. Uh, or uh, you can go the other way around and say, no, I don't want you to install anything. And then I'll start to give you apps that I'm, I'm gonna allow you to do. So in this case, we're gonna leave it with block all apps. So I'll just X out of that. And then what you do have to do is say, well, here are the apps I'm going to allow you to install. So uh, in the plus, click on the ad from Google Play down here in the right. So in here, what we're gonna do is actually whitelist our own VPN client, which makes it really easy to use our VPN uh, on a Chromebook. So I'm gonna go search for that, 
and then we'll whitelist and we'll have a look at those settings. Okay, so I want our VPN client. So I'm just going to type in the name of that app and you'll see it kind of come up in the list so then I can click on it. And then what I want to do is click on select. It'll give you a list of the permissions that uh, the user will be able to, uh, or will the user will have to give. So you can obviously review that uh, app and see what's going on and then just click on accept. So now in the current situation, uh, the way this is going to work is that when a user on a Chromebook goes to the Google Play Store, this is the only app that are going to be able to install. Uh, now, because it's something that I want all of our staff to use, I can also hit force install, which means that I can push it down onto that device if I want it. Um, just be careful with that. Obviously, if you've got a lot of devices and you force install, then it's going to trigger an awful lot of traffic and data for the user um, and they're going to have to deal with that. Um, but it is an option so that you can push it to their device. And then the other one is you can force install and then pin it to the Chrome OS taskbar. They won't be able to remove it. But what that means is it makes that app really obvious and very easy to find on their Chromebook, uh, which obviously aids with training and onboarding for those users. So there you go. That's how you uh, configure Google Workspace to allow Google Play and Android apps on Chromebooks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in Google Workspace.